were bridling adjusting there on cobalt. He's inside the barn. Nothing is holding him at all. He's not many cross ties. Take him out front, get up on him. This is Cobalt. He is an 11 year old Kentucky Mountain, stands 14'3. The sky is black and he has the most beautiful chrome because he has this perfect blaze. And then he also has just a tiny white hornet band on all four feet. You know what? He really doesn't have it on that front right. So it's just on three. I apologize. I thought he had it on all four. He's got a long, thick, pretty mane, and he has these beautiful eyes. They're not solid blue either. If I can get a better picture right there, it's like they're half and half. He's just cool. We're going to let Stephanie get up on him and walk him off. This horse actually belonged to us, and we sold him to a friend of ours that is a preacher who lives in um, the other side of Graves County, about two counties over from us. And he and his wife, um, they love this guy. As a matter of fact, they went through three horses to find the perfect one for Jerry, and uh, this was his pick. And they now have a catering business, a hair salon, and he's a preacher, and he works a full-time job, and they just weren't riding, so... We bought them back from them because we knew how good they were. So we're going to meet her over at the obstacle course. Here is Cobalt on the obstacle course. Stephanie came in a little crooked because she was adjusting her rigging. I don't think her breast strap was buckled. If there is a flaw in cobalt at all, it is on the ground. Um, as you can see, he was great bridling him. He loves to have his head scratch. As you go down his body, he can be a little flinchy, um, a little sensitive. It's not from pain. It's just more places he likes to be touched more than other places. And so once he gets to his permanent home, um, you doing some desensitizing. We've done it ourselves and he gets better, but he's only going to do the best with the person that's going to keep him for the rest of his life because they're the ones that he's going to have to trust. So, But he is awesome under saddle, and he's pretty awesome on the ground, but that'd be the only flaw I could find in him. So we're going to take him over to the pavement and let you see him doing his gait. Here's Cobalt walking down the driveway. We flew by him on the side-by-side, -side and he just stood there. Under saddle, you're not going to find much of a better one. Now, is he a babysitter? I wouldn't say that. But if you know the basics of riding, you're going to love riding this horse. He just doesn't make mistakes or flaws. Great gated, smart, and he'll take good care of you on the trail. All right, we're going to get him gating coming back up. Cue the music. If you heard that little bit of a blow, there were two big deer out in the field and the dogs were chasing them and that was the reaction. So. I'll take that any day. We'll see him down at the first creek. Here comes Cobalt into the first creek. This guy also neck rings. And my mom used to call these the darling horses. She said one of these days I'm going to have a darling. He's going to need a horse to ride, and he may not know how to ride.
think he'd really like to play in it. Yep. Hmm. All right, we're going to get some more of cobalt gating as we go on to the second creek. Very nice. There goes cobalt into the second creek. So one hand to turn. Very, very nice. This is my favorite here as well, but it's good as he is at it, it should be gay. He will ride with himself, by himself, he'll ride with a group, anywhere in the group, doesn't care to lead, doesn't care to follow. This is broke, ready to go, hit the trail tomorrow, absolutely no project. And look how smooth he is. Very, very nice. He's just lost both of his back feet. He definitely needs a trim and a shoe. Nothing wrong with his feet other than they definitely need trimming. So, we are very behind on the farrier, but he will have new shoes, Jimmy Choo's, and ready to go. His price is $5,500. Probably one of the best trail horses we've got in the barn. So just give me a call if you're interested in him. Or you can hit us up on the website at www.ggflatshotfarms.com to see all of our horses. Thank you.